Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we have with us Coach Painter. Uh, he has been working with our team the last couple of years and he's got a wide variety of experiences outside of this. Uh, so we're just going to chat with him for a few minutes and get to know him a little bit. I know that he's, he's come right in and, and jumped into the program and, and really made a big difference here with us. So uh, we're excited to hear from him and, and keep going. So Coach Painter, uh, start us off here. What's going on in your life right now? Well, just like everybody else, trapped in inside, trying to make sure that I'm staying fit. And uh, um, I actually ride um, my uh, a bike on a trainer. So I've been going from those little quick 30-minute workouts that I usually do at home to now like an hour, two hours, because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so I ride on Zwift and get to ride with people from around the world and chit chat with people I've never met, probably never will meet, but it's fun. And obviously work too. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Well, we're going to dive back into your past a little bit here. Um, Cause I know you just came to us a couple years ago, but, but you've got a whole experience prior to that. So uh, start us off things. What made you get into coaching? Ooh, so um, I, I guess I, I've always I've always wanted to coach uh, going into high, um, coming out of high school, going into college, um, and uh, so always kind of saying that uh, saying that you know coaching was going to be a big part of my future. Um, I was an elementary school school teacher. Um, I coached football, which is, which has really been my primary sport. Um, and then, um, so I coached at, uh, Reading, Reading Central Catholic in Red, um, Reading, which is now Berks Catholic. Okay. Um, and that very same year, which was my first year out of college, um, also they said, Hey, we need someone to be the track coach too, the head track coach. And I was like, I was like, well, um, sure. <laughs> Um, you know, track was a background that I had, and, um, that kind of, uh, helped out my football, um, loved the experience. So I, it was great and ended up just becoming a bigger love for me. Um, so, you know, here we are, you know, years later and still stuck with track versus football. You know, I, I go to football games here and there and things like that, but really because of my work schedule, football just doesn't, doesn't work. Cool. cool. So along the way, uh, Hershey Blaze came to be. Um, and I, for one, because I, I think it's a really neat program and, and had seen some of those athletes around here before you and I met. Uh, tell us a little bit, how did that come to, to be? Yeah, so Hershey Blaze, um, uh, the original concept, um, you know, I won't take full credit. Um, as a kid, I ran a USATF in Jersey. Um, and ran in some Philly meets here and there, uh, 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 a club that uh, Carl Lewis's family had started, uh, Willingboro Track Club. And then I swapped over to uh, St. Vincent Track Club and then kind of stayed away from it for, for a, a while. So I always knew that club track and field was an opportunity there. Um, when I moved out here, um, uh, my kids from Reading Central got that we didn't have an indoor program. Uh, so I kind of initially got the idea, well, maybe I'll do a club in the winter so that I could train them and then ended up moving. <laughs> uh, so I moved to Lebanon, then Hershey. So I put that on the back, back burner for years. And then when my, um, I don't know if you remember the former, um, Hershey track and field games that had been the yeah. national thing. Yeah. Um, I took my kids to it. So it was a great program, but most kids, I'd say about 99% of the kids, if you didn't take first place in the first meet, that was your last meet. And that was it. And, and that just kind of seemed odd to me. Um, so um, I knew that USATF had opportunities for kids to, to have more experiences. And I'd been taking my kids. Um, so fast forward when my daughter 
um, wanted to, I wanted to spend more time with my daughter because um, I was going to my son's football game, my older son's swim meets. I was not going to her soccer games. I was missing a lot. And then, you know, so I, I could see the little attitude, oh, dad doesn't come to my things. And, and that broke me. So uh, I kind of got this idea of starting a club so that we could spend time together. And then, you know, a month later, there were 50 something kids. Hey, could you train us too? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then here we are, you know, just annually, probably about 200 kids. Uh, uh, come out to Blaze and just give them a give them a, give them the track experience. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I I think we we missed some opportunities. I never had. We did the Hershey's thing when I was growing up too. But like you said, you know, one maybe two meets if you were real good and um, some things like that. And and I think having those feeder programs, those opportunities for kids out there. I remember. Mm-hmm. A lot of years when I was at Messiah, we did our our summer all comers meets. We'd have yeah, kids yeah. show up in their Hershey Blaze stuff, and they'd be all <laughs> excited. And uh, it was just really cool to see kids from a young age. You know, we we do baseball and soccer and football and swimming and and all those other sports have their youth programs. Yeah, and I think track sometimes gets forgotten about, but I think it's cool to see programs like that out there trying to give those kids experience and opportunities. Yeah, it was a bummer because we had so many kids who, um, I, and that's really what happened that first, those first two years, there were kids who played other sports who never played the other sports. Yeah. You know, you see you know, these baseball kids who never got on the field, football players not going to on the field, and then they come out the track and um, they see some success. Um, they make some new friends. Yeah. Um, and it's just kind of like, I'm like, well, you know, there's opportunities here too. <laughs> um, and track is is a fantastic sport, you know, um, and a uh, great opportunity for you to have fun, meet meet, meet other kids, grow in other areas. Um, and uh, it's been awesome. It's been awesome to, to see kids who otherwise didn't have opportunities to do something. Very cool. So in Hershey Blaze and, and working with some of those younger athletes, I know they go down pretty young here, um, what are some things that, that you, you know, working with this broad range of athletes, what are some things that the, the younger kids are doing or you're seeing in them that you wish kids were still doing or <laughs> acting like when, when they got into high school or college or, or later on? Um, so Hershey Blaze actually started out, I mean, it, I mean the, the first two kids were really nine and ten years old. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, uh, and of course my background being fourth, fifth grade, it was perfect for me, you know? So, um, I think one of the things that, uh, I, I find that the younger kids, um, it doesn't like for older kids and obviously college kids, you know, meets are the big thing for them. For the younger kids, everything's big for them. Practice you know, the pool party, you know, you know, so they never stop enjoying it. Um, They never get blown away by, you know, um, okay, I didn't take first place. Now, now, there's a few that do. (laughs) Um, But for the most part, they never stop enjoying it. Um, uh, And and they never stop growing from it. They're, they're never, um, I don't, I don't want to say closed minded, but you know, you know, they often, you know, if I ask a kid, you know, whether the kid might be, you know, not this very good distance runner, if I ask them to go out and do a mile, they'll, they'll do it just because it's fun to do. Yeah. Um, or if they want to jump on a, on, you know, in the long jump pit, whether they're jumping five inches or five feet, it, 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 it it's still fun, fun to them. And, and I, and I wish that, um, the, the older kids would just continue to just have fun with it. Um, um, you'll grow. <laughs> um, I, I try not to make Blaze be so intense that you never stop having fun. Um, I, I don't, you know, I, I tell kids all the time, if you're looking for me, for you to come to the club and you just become this amazing sprinter or amazing jumper or amazing thrower, 
um, that's not what we're here here for. We're here to help you enjoy this. I'm like, when you get to college, you'll you'll grow. <laughs> I'm like, that's what their job is. Um, and and so I so I, I think the younger ones really do just keep having fun with it. I think that's probably something we could all remember in our lives from time to time that it's got to be fun. You got to find some joy there. And I swear our are almost always our um, most attended practices uh, is on Tuesday. We call it Pop Popsicle Tuesday. <laughs> there will be kids that sometimes you don't see much, but you'll see them on t- Tuesday. Yes. Um, <laughs> and they wait until the very end. So. Everybody loves popsicles. That's you can't <laughs> turn those down. Awesome. Cool. Well, step outside of the, the track and field world for us a, a little bit here. Uh, if you were sitting around and, and talking to people and, and something came up in conversation, uh, what, do you, what do you think would surprise people to know about you? <laughs> this one I struggle with because I, I, I tend to be pretty open um, with, with a lot of things. I don't hold a lot of secrets back. Um, so I asked my wife, she, was, and she, kinda, she said, well, do the kids know that you sleep with an Elmo doll? <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, I, and I said, she's like, I was like, well, okay, well, I guess I, guess I could tell them that one. Um, most people don't know. Yeah, I've been, I've had an Elmo doll since 1988. <laughs> right. The same doll. Same doll. That was going to be my next question. The same doll. He's right, right there. Um, the dog took, took one of his eyes off, <laughs> but it's more of a sentimental thing. Um, uh, you know, uh, I, it, it, it almost been with me through those good times and bad times. And, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, it's, it's kind of there. <laughs> um, I, I, I remember in college one time I had a fit because my teammates were hanging out in my room and I came back in my room and I couldn't find my Elmo now. And, I opened up my closet and there he was hanging around his neck and I was, I was pretty ticked. And they were like, I can't believe you got that mad about us hanging up the dog. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> and your wife's okay with that? That's good, there's no issues there? No, she, she, she does, uh, oftentimes she'll notice that, um, she's like, okay, what did I do to make you mad? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, cause, you almost always hold that doll a little closer whenever I meet you, man. I'm like, oh, here you go. <laughs> All right. That's my, I will say this one because my wife won't mind, but uh, she has a, a stuffed dog that, that she did the same thing with and, until we got the real dog. Now the real dog's in the bed and the stuffed dog is over on the counter. So I guess we all, we all have our little comforts there. <laughs> I think some kids will be very excited to find that out about you. Yeah, it's Elmo. Elmo goes with me when I travel for work. Some sometimes, <laughs> although I don't think my colleagues at work know that. Well, they will now. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure we share this to the Dickinson people as well. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, then I'm gonna uh, ask you this one: outside of track, outside of Elmo, outside of all those things, what other things are you into? Um, well, uh, I, I mean, most times I, I love to read, um, um, but I kind of goes in, in waves. Sometimes I'll just be deep into it and then I'll take a break for, you know, a little while there. So I really, I, I read a bit here and there. Um, I work out, um, both lifting, I should do more cardio. Um, I'm involved in my fraternity grad chapter. Um, we, um, uh, although we've been, uh, not as active in recent years, but, um, been involved in my fraternity for quite some time. So service and things like that are real important to me in, uh, the communities that are, you know, that you need help, things like that. So service is a big, big part of me. Um, my wife and I are house parents on the weekends at 
Milton Her Hershey School. So we've been there for 18 years. Um, uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I, you know, as I'm getting older and my kids are older now, my youngest one getting ready to go off, go off to college. Um, you know, we'll, we'll do a little bit more, more traveling, um, you know, just to go to meets and games, obviously, uh, um, you know, whether it's local or, or far, uh, we'll try to get, get to those. And I, and I love the beach, love the beach. Awesome. Awesome. Well, then I, here my last question for you here today, and this one, I kind of turned this around. If you wanted to ask me something, what would you ask me? Wow. Well, I, I guess the obvious question that everyone's asking you <laughs> is, is there, is there going to be a season? Yeah. Um, oh boy. Or, 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 or better yet, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll change that around. Are you optimistic? <laughs> I am holding on to optimism. I know that, you know, looking around, everything else being closed down, and, and certainly I had no new information, you know, we're watching PIAA, and, and they've been uh, really responding to school closures and just kind of keeping it with that. Um, I'm going to stay optimistic. Uh, I'm going to keep sending kids workouts and, and planning things like that. And until they tell us otherwise, I'm hoping that, that our athletes are, are out there doing things to prepare themselves. And, and I've been doing things on my end to, to help make sure that we're ready to, to get rolling it once again when they uh, bring us back. If that changes at all, uh, we'll certainly have to adjust and adapt, I, I think. This is pressing us all. <laughs> right. Yeah. Change the way we're doing things. Um, and, and certainly I, I miss being with the kids every day and, and being at practice. So um, I'm, I'm generally an optimistic guy. And, and I'd love to, to think that um, even if we've got to bump things back, I, I don't think if it happens, I, I really don't think it comes back on, on the typical calendar. Right. But that's really just, just my thought. Um, but I'm going to hope. I'm going to keep hoping and waiting for us to all be back together again at some point. Cool, cool. I'm excited. I, I hear from kids here and there. and I see pictures online, so I know yeah. some of them are pretty dedicated and ready, ready to go. So, yeah. Well, then we'll put this out to, to the team if you're watching this. Uh, yeah. share, share with us. Uh, take some pictures, post some videos, uh, text us, call us. Um, we as your coaches, we're, we're out here because we love spending time at, at track and field and we love being out there with you. So uh, we miss you probably as much as you're missing your friends and, and your teammates and, and things. So keep us posted with what's going on and uh, keep working hard. We'll put those workouts out there. We'll put things online for you to do and, and just keep trying them. And if you have questions about it, ask. If you want other things to do, ask. I know Coach Painter mentioned some of those workouts of his going from 30 minutes to 60 minutes or so here. And I think we're all fine, maybe a little extra time. So if you're looking for some extra stuff, uh, just reach out. We'll, we'll be happy to give you more things to do if you want. Cool. All right. Anything else you want to share with us today, Coach? That's it. You know, I, I was, I was going to tell you, too, um, I'm probably going to embarrass myself a little bit here, but um, I'm actually going to, I'll probably see if I can send it to you or, or something, but uh, I, I'm going to be going out there. Some of the workouts that I've been uh, giving to a few kids, if they wanted to do them, I said, you know what? I always said, I, I, I will never give someone something that I'm not willing to try myself. So I've got a couple hill workouts and a couple sprint workouts that I'm going to video. Right. <laughs> and see if I can make it through them too. <laughs> well, well, I can only them. imagine there will be a large contingent waiting to see those. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I think that's great. I think that, that um, we can probably all find some things like that that we can do as adults too to, to put out our workout. So uh, look for some of those to, to come up from, from your coaches and uh, maybe you can reciprocate by getting some videos of yourselves out there doing stuff. Cool. cool. Well, thanks for chatting with us today. All righty. Enjoy your day at home. Enjoy all your kids. And uh, we'll talk to you later. All right. Great. All right. Bye. I will see you.